yellow perch, candlewood, yellow perch. My first ever yellow perch for candlewood, actually. And it's a nice size, too. Look at that. Oh, my Lord. Sir, yes, sir. Multi species getting started right here. Now, you all tell me if that is not a beauty, huh? What a beauty of a yellow perch. Time to release it. Today, we're going to be fishing Candlewood Lake, land of the giants. One of the mostly pressure spots around the area. I'm going to talk a little bit more about it later, but now that we're on the hot bite, let's get our stuff back in there. Check this out. I'm getting started with a little Euro Tackle B Vibe on a 116 ounce jig, size 4 hook. You folks are way too familiar with this bait right over here. And apparently, it is going to be a pretty windy day. My voice hasn't recovered 100% yet either, but you know what? I figure I'm up to the job. Now, the thing about the Candlewood Lake, I gotta tell you all, you can catch a huge variety of different species of fish over here, and nice size too. I mean, you saw that yellow perch right now, right? That was a nice size yellow perch. So the beauty of doing multi-species in this particular lake is that you really never know what you are going to land. White perch, yellow perch, black crappies, mollies, largemouth bass. According to Ben, even a huge pike was caught here back in the days and they stocked this place with a lot of trout. Anything can happen in this video. PBs may be broken, big fish may show up. That all depends obviously on who is controlling the boat. No, I'm just <laughs> I'm just kidding. No pressure, bro. <laughs> I'm just messing with it. Anyways, let's keep casting the B vibe and see what happens. Oh, oh, son, oh, oh, what we got here? Oh, it's a bluegill. Second species of the day. Nothing big, nothing giant, but beautiful colors. Look at that, huh? Lepomis macrocetus. Not gonna take a photo of this one for now. Actually, you know what? I should, I should. Talk about colors, huh? Even for Connecticut standards, look at that purple over there. You folks can't see it really well, but there's a lot of purple on this fish. All right, two species. We're gonna keep the list up on the screen for you all. Today is truly going to be a day of multi-species. We will see how many species we can actually land from this huge lake. All right, beautiful. Nice little rocky cove. There is like big, uh, I don't know if there are suckers, I guess. Oh, really? There are bigger suckers here? Wow. Trout, bass. I mean, I can see already that that spot in the front where the water's flowing in is going to be the juice. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. Sometimes. Ben tells me there's a real possibility we're going to land a nice fish over here. So, rocky area. Make sure that our stuff doesn't touch bottom, right? Chatter bait, swim baits. I mean, you name it. Let's give it a go. Call this Molly. Call this Molly for me. Come on. Pica, pica. Pica, pica. Pica, pica. Tell that big smallie down there. Tell the EPF has come in. Oh, 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 bigger one, bigger one. Black crappie. And this is actually not that big for Candlewood Lake either. Pomoxis nigromaculatus. Haven't really found that smallie around here yet, the trophy one. But this spot is looking very, very juicy. I mean, look at that right over there. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. 
there are so many fish here, it's hard to believe. Can you imagine if you live in this house, you just come down from like your backyard every day and it's just like, oh, okay, let me give a few casts in the juiciest, you know, thing around. That's yeah. crazy. With the, the bad zero fish, you never really catch one. You catch like five, six, uh -huh. seven, So it's like either they are here or they're not here. Yeah. Mm, what do you think our chances are before we catch what like if we like what are we going to catch what before the end of the day you think? The bass? Yeah. Yeah. It, that's like I said, we gotta focus on it. Wow bro. Wow bro. But well, you just did. I just caught the tiniest smallie of Candlewood Lake, bro. Hey, it counts as a, I tell you what, it counts as a species, you know? But uh, I refuse to take a photo of this one though. So. <laughs> I'm gonna jinx it if I take a photo of that one, you know? All right, so we're laying the fish a list. I think I caught yellow perch, bluegill, black crappie, smallmouth bass. Yeah, so we're doing good, we're doing good. Perca flavicens, lipomis macarakirus. And then the third one was the pomoxis nigromaculatus and now the microterus dolomiel. All right, we're gonna just lay here a little bit more and then move. That sounds good. Actually, for this type of spot, just in case. No, 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 I'm just gonna get the ready, net ready. Just in case, you know? When it is about the bass, man. Don't wanna be unprepared if a four or five pounder shows up. That's the thing about multi-species fishing. We got to go for a little bit of everything. We are here at a marina here on the lake. And Ben tells me this is the perfect spot to throw or skip a Gary Yamamoto Senkol. So yes, of course I'm going to do it. Let's do it. We got a tiny smallie. It's time to redeem myself, son. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, a rock bass. I don't have that species for this video yet. May have changed to the B vibe just to see if I can catch one. Dude, I think you got real lucky with that rock bass, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know how common rock bass are over here at all. I mean, it's crappy after crappy. Mm, no rock bass. Will we be able to add the mighty rock bass to the list? Keep watching and oh, ooh, they shall find out. Oh my lord, had a bite right here by the boat. What's awesome is that they're so big dude. Hey man, there may be a monster amongst them. Oh bass. Nice. That's another species for today. Species number five. May not be a monster. Dude, what happened? You told me Candlewood is all big fish, bro. What's going on? Oh, well, that's not big for you? <laughs> I guess everything's big for the Dink Master. Well, there is that Candlewood Lake Monster. Species number five of the day. We're flipping, not even flipping, we're just vertical jigging some docks. We found a school of crappie right along this area over here so we're just having some fun you never know when a monster is going to show up right folks Ooh, oh talk about monster oh that's nice but need that no okay he's so used to catching the ones that size dude doesn't even need the net but look at the size of that fish bro that's that's a real nice one <laughs> that's like one and a half i don't know yeah but that's definitely bigger than one pound Yes. That's like how many inches you think? 13 and a half. Maybe? 13 and a half, yeah. Wow, dude, that's intense, bro. I got the ruler. Excuse me. Here we go.
Uh, 12 and uh, 12 and a bit, 12 and a half. 12 and a half inch, but fat, dude, for 12 and a half. Wow. Nice catch, bro. Oh yeah, oh, oh son, Ooh. oh rock bass, uh, yes, that's number six, yes, man, dude, it was a struggle to find this one, right from under the dog, yes, right, be vibe, I was giving some water to this fish over here, look at that, huh? beautiful candlewood lake, Rock bass, Amblopletus rupestris, number six of the day, multi-species going good, huh? We got here the rock bass, we got bluegill, black crappie, American yellow perch, large mouth is molly, as you folks see on the screen, right? And we are not near done, or at least I think so, we will see. Still got half a day to fish out here. Hopefully, you know, some more exciting species or bigger sizes, right? It's going to show up, we'll see. Oh, yeah. Dang, son. Not bad. Oh, stink, that's fat. Oh, oh, he cut my leader. Cut my leader. Easy now, easy. I'm gonna take a photo of this one before I release it. Uh, not bad. Sir, yes, sir. This is more like a candle wood crappie right over here. And this is not even one of the trophy ones for this particular lake. That's the crazy thing about it. All right, that one got me by surprise after landing dozens and dozens of little ones. We're still pretty much fishing around structure, dock areas. Vinoa is, is nagged at the moment. It happens. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, look for the trophies. Well, I, everyone saw it was in the mouth. It was in the mouth. When I told you earlier that I caught a pumpkin seed, you didn't believe me, huh? It's a pumpkin seed. Species number seven, boy. See, I told you. Pumpkin seed exists. A lake. Candlewood Lake. Yeah. Look at that, huh? Authentic Lepomis gibosus, okay? Let me show you all how it's done, all right? It's got here the uniform blue rays on its face, white and red on the opercular flap. I'm gonna give it a little bit more of water over here. Look at that, huh? Yay, species number seven for today. I'm gonna release it right over here, boom. I caught one earlier. I mean, I missed one earlier, and I told Ben over here, man, that was a pumpkin seed, you know? The dude was like, really? Really? Guess he never saw one coming from over here. You know what I'm saying? They down there. All right. At the count of seven. Now I'm wondering, can we actually get to 10 before the end of the day? Man, we got to 10. My voice may just come back. All right. <laughs> Let's move spots and then we'll talk about it. All right, Leo, come on. Put the numbers on the screen, boy. Let me tell you all something. 3.16 p.m., Ben and I decided to kind of call it quits on the multi-species at this point. 
and kind of focus for the rest of the day on some of the bigger species around here. After all, it would be a shame to come here to Candlewood Lake and not really try to catch like a trophy bass. You know what I'm saying? As you folks can see, per the numbers on the screen, I mean, it wasn't a bad day at all, right? That is not to mention that you guys didn't really see in this video, I also missed a brown trout. We also got to see some grass carp swimming around. So overall, a pretty, pretty cool experience. I will tell you all what though. Of course, we were fishing from a boat today which is a totally different experience as fishing by shore, right? But that being said, keep in mind, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, that this is one of the most pressured lakes in the state of Connecticut, okay? That being said, there are plenty of species, as I have shown you folks over here. And if you ever come here to Connecticut, I hope that you ladies and gentlemen have the opportunity of fishing this particular body of water because I got to tell you it is a beautiful beautiful place to fish at all right if I post another video after this one with the title big fish you will have known that we have succeeded here for catching some trophies if not it is what it is uh, let me get your phone here real quick oh this one's for you I'm gonna finish right here so I'll talk to you folks later. Tie lines, official.